Nose and Throat Health Month. Yeah, one procedure in the throat that used to be fairly common is becoming more and more rare these days. Have you ever wondered what tonsils do? Tonsils are lymphatic organs and, and really historically they're placed uh, strategically in the back of our throats. Um, it's a, it acts as a filter for pathogens that might enter our body through the mouth and nose. Tonsils are rarely brought up unless you're talking about the removal. When we talk about a tonsillectomy, we're really talking about removal in the younger kids of the tonsils and the adenoid tissue in the back of the nose. Dr. Andrew Hayford says although our country's population continues to climb, the number of of tonsillectomies performed is going down. In the past, we used to do about a million procedures a year. Nowadays, we think we're a little more restrictive in terms of performing around 536,000 per year in the U.S. Uh, routinely. Besides the initial 24 hours after surgery, the highest risk of bleeding is days 5 through 14 post-surgery. There's definitely risks involved. There's five blood vessels being into each tonsil, um, wow. and so uh, we think about post-operative bleeding. Uh, with with that being said, um, the rate of bleeding is really around 2 or 3 percent, um, so it's a low risk, but uh, it's one we don't take lightly, and that's why we wait till kids are a little older in some scenarios to do it. Dr. Hayford says by the time a child is three, tonsils usually reach their maximum size. Now, sleep apnea is one of the two main reasons a doctor may recommend a tonsillectomy. They're so large when we fall asleep, we relax and their throat closes off. We really look at the number of times they pause their breathing sure. and make our opinions in terms of uh, whether or not they tend to need to come out. The second main reason, chronic tonsillitis, which can lead to children avoiding certain foods like chewy meats. With these tonsils here that obstructs and they might get food stuck in their mouth and you might see them do like a double swallow. Dr. Hayford says if your child needs a tonsillectomy, you can be comforted in knowing the process has come a long way over the years. Now we, we have a better understanding saying of risks. Mm. Well, you can eat ice cream after that surgery. You can eat ice cream. That's what I heard. I still have my tonsils, yeah, though. Yeah, too. Yeah. One man in Missouri takes the trip of a lifetime, and it was the very answer to his final